hope you're all doing good. I'm still kind of, I got a little mess. I just got off a job. I need to clean up some of this stuff. Uh, got a customer who has an old historic house in a historic district, and they want to keep this old Yale mortise cylinder. It's in a, the old style mortise lock. Uh, the lock set itself is actually within the, the, the doorway. This is the, the lock that goes in it. It just screws in. It's just like a storefront. And I actually had a Yale storefront cylinder I was able to put in there for him, but he wanted me to rekey this originally, and so as we was trying to dump the pins, you know, we noticed these top pins would come out, so we're kind of, we got most of them out, but wasn't able to get some of those out, I mean, I thought maybe I'd push them in and see the spring and push them back out, but I think the spring might have corroded and just kind of seized up the pins. It was one it even worked, you know, I, I think it had a shear point where it wedged itself in there, and he stuck this key, and look at this key, man, it's a doozy. A little bit of wear on there. And so it's a Y1, a Yale 1 keyway, Y1. But, uh, so anyways, he wanted me to see if I could say this. And I think, uh, these, uh, are caps, and they're just pressed in, punched in. You can see they're just, it's kind of the, the problem is to make sure you got the contour. I think uh, I'm gonna have to figure out if I'm gonna be able to, I might knock a couple, I only need to do a couple actually. Three, maybe, three, yep. Three, see if I can knock three of them out and uh, if I have to when I put them back in, if I can't get the contour just right. And I think what I do, uh, I'll put on something round, maybe I'll just put that back in there, press them in there. But that's usually kind of how it goes. It's always something. And with this, uh, you know, as long as it doesn't catch, then you see how smooth that is. It actually goes with the radius. And put up the light, you can see. That was the radius of the cylinder. See, a normal cap might leave a flat spot where you kind of fill it. But, and this being a, like a storefront, you will actually rotate it 360 degrees. So you, you don't want, you do have to have something in there. And so I'll probably use a cap. A uh, cap, or I can use the old ones, and then uh, just kind of hammer them out a little bit so they're flat. And then when I drive them back in, I'll drive it in. Either either I have a follower that's pretty snug in here that I can drive it up against, or I'll put this back in here and I'll put the key inside just so it doesn't collapse on me when I try to hammer down. So anyways, I'll be right back. Let me knock these out. And once I get those out, I'm going to have to get a little, maybe a little drill bit so I can drill into those to enough to where I can maybe get an easy out in there. I do have some... Really small easy outs, so we'll see. Maybe it'll once I draw, I drill them, they'll uh, loosen up a little bit. I can pull them out. All right, be back in a minute. All right, popped them out. Well, pretty easy. Just a little snug in there. And look at these. I don't know if you can tell. There is a tapered part. You can see, kind of see the curve to it. I would just need to make sure that's lined back up. And pop it back in. So they can sit right there on the... Oh. Yep, I don't lose those. Anyways, uh, you know, tape came out pretty good. So let me, uh, I'm just trying to get a better view so you can see if the, the curve on there. It's my hair kind of mushered up a little bit. Probably sit on some metal and tap it down. If I don't want to find something better, uh, should be alright. I think I'll be able to pop those back in. A little burr on this one right here. Anyway, so let me see if I can drive. I'm going to see if I can push those in. I don't really, my phone's not doing very good. Let me see if that'll let me do this. All right. Let me grab something to set this one on. Excuse me. See if I can. It's always a struggle for a good way to record. All right, so let's see what we got here. I use uh, this punch set here, it's actually a snap-on, and it's more of a tool, I'm trying to get the number in here. And you my phone. I have a magnet on this phone that kind of causes uh, the camera to do wonky things. Anyway, so that's that. And these are weird punches, they have a little dot on the end, so you don't ever have to worry about mushrooming the punch. But if I can get that in there, and just kind of... It's a little tight. I probably should have went to the next smaller size punch. It's hoping to be again. Okay, that's 
maybe it's pushed all the way in and probably big mistake. And I'll probably wind up having to drill those out. I mean, I'm not going to push this last one in. I'm going to see if I can get a drill. See if I can drill this last one out. All right, give me a second here. Yep, I'm going to try to freehand this. Probably not going to turn out too good. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So let me see if I can get that in there. I'm going to... I was going to chew it up too much. I'm just going to gradually work my way up. Yeah, that pin popped right up. Good deal. Not bad drilling. A little off point, but uh, good deal. It popped right out. All right, so maybe I'll get the others. Yeah, the spring came out too. Hmm. All right, let me drill these other two. I'll be right back. Well, I ain't going to where I'll go ahead and do this real quick. Yep, good. That came out too. When it warms up, I'm sure it's probably probably going to sort of enough where it'll pop out. Good, I think I got that one out too. I think this worked out. So let me get a flashlight here and we'll double check everything. Yeah, yeah, last one came out too. Well, there we go. Good deal. So I got three springs. Yeah, I use my magnet. Yep, they're not magnet, they're brass. And you can see that it's kind of corroded a little bit. Not really. I think the just pins must have been bad or something. I don't know. Let's see if I can see in there better. Still looks like, yeah, I think that back one's still in there. You kind of see this right there. It looked like there was two pins in that one. Hmm. That's bizarre. I still see a little green in the bottom there. I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing. There it looks like there's uh, springs still kind of corroded in the bottom there. So I can hold this and where you can kind of see. The second one, spring down inside there. All right, so let me focus on this. I'm not going, let me see how far in I'm going. So when I'm drilling this, I don't want to go too far. So, man, I'm almost all the way to that thing. Maybe what I'm seeing is an optical illusion. I don't know. Let me see if I can find something to put down inside there. Feels like it's all the way out. Okay, there's the rest of that spring on that. And so it looks to me like they had multiple springs, and maybe even like almost like there's still a top pin in that third hole. So let me, how far this goes down in here. That goes all the way down. So let me try this. Let me mark this scratch all ice pick. I know the first hole is clear. So that's what I'm going to do. Just make sure. Back hole is clear. That's got some slot. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Let me see if I can... Whatever it is, it feels like it's spinning in there. Maybe that just came out. I think something else just came out. I think it did. So let me shine my light in there. All right, so let me see here. Check my mark. Normally, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't even go to the trouble. Still sun in there. So let me, I don't want to tap on this. I don't want to jack some threads up. Like I said, I wouldn't mess with this normally. I will tap on a little bit. Because it's not dirt right there. You wouldn't normally go through all this trouble on something like this. You just swap it out like I did originally. But he wants it to back. I want to know if I'd be able to fix it. That'd be kind of interesting to see if I could. I don't think... 
Hmm. I think there's still sun in there. But... There, I think I just popped out. That was it. Got it out. All right, good deal. So, moment of truth. Figure out top pins will go back in there. I don't think I messed anything up. Everything feels good. I'm going to go on our new Yale keyway. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm back. I actually got sidetracked. I had to go take care of some other stuff around the, the house. And uh, a few other little odds and end projects. Uh, I run into a situation here where... Uh, let me see if I can uh, pull this up real quick. Hold on just a second here. I didn't think I was going to get onto this real quick. Get this out of here. So... I tried to knock this one here back into the first hole and it wouldn't go back in. It was just too, the hole had already been enlarged probably because it's close to the edge. It's right into the, eh, not too bad. But anyways, I tried to tap it in. I even tried to flatten it out a little bit and uh, then I tried to hammer it in and I used this as my backing to be able to drop it in there. And it didn't work. The first two worked out pretty good. So, and what I did, because the curve was in a certain spot, I went ahead and scribed it. I held it in one finger, transferred to the other to where I knew the concave was, part of that. And then I scribed a straight line and tried to get it as close as I could. And so then what happened was uh, the last hole, that pin, that cap wouldn't fit in there. It would just drop through. And so I thought maybe I'll tighten that hole up on this a little bit by uh, hammering on each side of this. And that didn't work out too good either. So what I wound up doing was I have a punch and die set, which you use. You can make little uh, top pieces, uh, caps, whatever. It's better to, have, you know, depends on what the material you have is. I had, uh, I didn't have any brass sheet. I wish I did because you'll get, when you mix like, aluminum with brass you'll have what they call galvanic corrosion for this part here i'm not going to worry about it too much you know it's already kind of corroding and you get steel that's why you find a lot of steel these things but what happens is you'll get your punch and this is one of those things i actually got this at a uh, harbor freight i believe they got nicer ones and they go, go all the way up to three quarter you use this a lot of times with like a uh, gasket material hard gasket it's, uh, you know, like the, the Garlock style, the, the blue uh, gasket. And uh, I'm trying not to move my camera around, but sometimes you can punch out the cardboard if you need a cardboard disc for something. Uh, but for this, I just used a, you want to use the flatter side. So if, I don't know if you can see flat and there's convex, or I mean chamfer. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, I just punched a hole. And I'll punch a hole real quick just so you can kind of see it. I'm going to bounce around quite a bit, so sorry about that. And so then, once you get that through, drop that in, and there's your piece. And it's what I used. Uh, punched it out. You can see it's fairly thick. I drove it, one of those, into the hole all the way down until it hit this. I wanted to use something kind of hard. And then I went ahead and used a, a round file. And I filed that down, as you can see. That way, it's it's got a good uh, profile to match, and it's snug. You know, I went ahead and uh, put that in there. It's snug. You can kind of feel it just a little. It could be one of the other ones, but that's in. It's not going anywhere, and uh, should be fine. So let me hurry and pin this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and. Load that up, load this up, and we'll see what I got here. Okay, feels good. Love it. Anyways, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. If I had uh, already planned everything a little bit better, if it was a normal Reiki and I had to do all this, wouldn't have been a big deal, of course. But, uh, yeah, everything went good. I have a thread chaser for this style. Adam's right style. It's one and an eighth inch cylinder, actually. And I uh, still got to put the tailpiece on. I'll accidentally slip that out. 
Well, good deal. Customer's going to be very happy. You know, I, this is one of those situations where I would have just changed it. No big deal. He actually wanted us back. It was worth it to him to pay to have this done and worked on. And, and I didn't take as long as, I mean, you know, I'm doing a video, so of course it takes longer. This wouldn't have taken that long if I'd kind of was just doing this without trying to get stuff for the, the camera. But anyways, that's done. I'll go on ahead and uh, I need to find the tailpiece right here. Put that on there. And I got a couple of screws I need to run into that. That'll be that. Be good to go. Anyways, so that's that. Told you, I tried to actually look on eBay. I didn't want to mess with it. But I thought, you know, I come across this occasionally. I'll go ahead and let's do the trial and error. What do I got to do to make this happen? You know, if I went ahead and, uh, as I did, knock these out if I had to. That aluminum, it'll work for now. It's one of those things where you might get a little galvanic corrosion. If it fails, you know, I, I, he knows this was a risk anyways. But that aluminum actually should stay in there. shouldn't go anywhere. And this is always in the position anyways where it's in the vertical. The pins are going up. It shouldn't have any problem with that. And I'm going to lubricate it so there won't be any problem. So with that... Thanks for watching. Sorry if it was kind of boring and uh, I tried to get the shots I could. Uh, it's hard to work and do this stuff at the same time. I, you know, God bless old Jason. He's able to do this and talk and do the jokes and uh, deal with customers and everything else uh, at the same time. I can't do that. And I hadn't really messed with this style anyway, so I wanted to kind of play with the two off the camera. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye bye. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. <laughs>